What's up guys, it's Alina and today we are going to be talking about skin care. I have a very, very popular video on my channel that has about 6.3k views. It's called How I Cleared My Sensitive Skin Using Tretinoin and Benzoyl Peroxide. So today, you guys are going to hate me for this, but I did stop using Tretinoin and I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I stopped using it what I have replaced it with and what my skincare routine is looking like now. I just want to give a disclaimer and say that there is nothing wrong with tretinoin and I would still recommend it to people. Just because I stopped using it doesn't mean that I had any bad reactions, any bad experiences, nothing like that. Um, tretinoin is still a very, very great product and if you have very, very bad acne or acne that's like hormonal or anything like that, I still would recommend tretinoin if nothing else works for you. I have three main reasons why I stopped using tretinoin. So the first reason why I stopped using it is because it was starting to cause me skin discoloration. Um, I was on tretinoin for a little bit over a year and throughout like the course of it, like I just started ending up with very, very uneven skin tone. Even though I had tried several different types of um, sunscreens, I was still having a lot of issues balancing out my skin. And so tretinoin is supposed to balance your skin tone. Um, it's supposed to work like any of the other acids to like clean up your skin even it out and it was just making everything worse Which was one of the main reasons why I stopped using it. So I will be inserting pictures of um, What my skin looked like when I decided to stop using it It was starting to get very very irritated and you can see that my face is just really splotchy And it was also irritating my perioral dermatitis so so much so that was the first reason why I stopped using it. The second reason is because tretinoin is, it creates dependence. So what happens is you start off on a very, very low dose, depending on the severity of your acne. So I started off on 0.025. Um, I was on that percentage for probably about four to five months before it stopped working completely and I was using tretinoin three times a week at this point. So your skin just builds up tolerance. To the product and then you have to keep increasing percentages so after i realized that it wasn't working i went to my dermatologist and she put me up to 0.05 and so that also will only work for a few months before you have to increase again and trinoin is a very very strong product and i personally didn't want to keep putting my skin through that because every time that that happens your skin has to go through a readjustment period readjustment readjustment and you are very prone to irritation among other things and I just didn't want to continue dealing with that um, so I decided that I was going to stop using it it wasn't my dermatologist nobody told me to stop using it I decided that I wasn't going to use it anymore for those two reasons and also because it's a very very strong product as I was doing more research trying to find products that I could switch to in order to make my skin better um, I did find azelaic acid I was doing research on this product for probably about a month before I actually switched to it and one of the main reasons why I switched to it is first of all because it's a lot gent gentler so this product functions a lot like tretinoin but it's a lot nicer on the skin and a lot more safe for sensitive skin not only that but it's also safe for perioral dermatitis so I had watched a lot of YouTube videos, which I'll be linking down below as well, of people that were explaining that they have perioral dermatitis and that this product helped to clear it up and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, this product will be twofold. It'll help with my acne and it'll also help with my perioral dermatitis. I switched to this product and when I tell you my skin has been like, it completely turned around within like two weeks. I have never seen my skin as clear as it was, even using tretinoin like I still had bumps on my forehead that I couldn't get rid of I still had other imperfections on my face that weren't going away even using like a prescription strength drug my skin tone was first of all evening out and that's kind of like the main purpose of this so it says improve visible brightness and the appearance of skin texture so that is the main purpose of this so tretinoin is also supposed to do the same thing but for me it wasn't doing the job what I did before starting this product like when I was transitioning from tretinoin to this I basically like stopped all of my products all of the chemicals that I was using I stopped them all cold turkey for like about a week that I just did like cleanser and moisturizer and that was pretty much it I did that for a whole week um, also another mistake that I made is that 
before I started using this on its own, I was actually like using it with Trinoin at the same time. So not like on the same day, but like in the same routine um, during the week. And that also made my skin very irritated. So after I realized that my skin was getting very angry with me, I stopped everything. So once I stopped everything, I was able to pick up and start using this three times a week. And there was no build-up period, there was no purging, there was none of that, which is usually what happens with Trinoin. So I really, really love this product also because of my perioral dermatitis. So if you guys don't know about my experience with this, you can actually watch the last video. I have my whole skincare journey in the first five minutes of the video that I was talking about at the beginning. Um, but I do have perioral dermatitis, which is kind of like a type of eczema that happens like around the mouth So it causes discoloration itchiness flakiness all around the mouth I've dealt with that probably since like middle school. So I started using this product in September of 2021 It's now January no February of 2022 and I'm still using this product still seeing the same results so basically since September and since I started using this product my skin has been completely flat like I haven't had any issues no like excessive breakouts so it's amazing it's truly amazing so now that I have gotten past that I'm going to start talking about my new skincare routine a lot of the products that I mentioned in my last video are actually gonna be repeated because I love most of the products that I was using really the main thing that I changed was just the use of tretinoin but Pretty much, if I'm not mistaken, the majority of the products, I still use them. So basically, at the beginning of this year, January 1st, 2022, I decided that I was going to stop washing my face in the morning. At first, I was really scared because when you have acne and you have oily skin, oh my gosh, that's another thing that the azelaic acid helps with. My skin oils are completely controlled. Like, I don't have oily skin anymore. Like, it's not even necessary, really, for me to use a mattifying primer. But I was, like, mentally prepared for my skin to, like, go into shambles after I stopped washing my face in the morning. However, my skin... I was pleasantly surprised that the quality improved even more after I stopped washing my face in the morning. So just because that worked for me doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for you. I know for a fact that if I would have tried to stop washing my face in the morning over a year ago that my skin literally would have had a panic attack. So definitely wait until you figure out a routine and until your, your skin has reached a plateau to not wash your face in the morning. It doesn't work for everyone, I can guarantee you that. So what I use in the morning instead of cleansing my face is just this micellar cleansing water. The light behind it is like really, really bright, but I just have this micellar cleansing water. This is from the brand Simple. It's for dry and sensitive skin, gently removes makeup and instantly soothes. So they have like the regular version. This is the water boost. I really, really like the water boost because it makes your skin really hydrated and it's not really necessary for you to moisturize afterwards if you don't want to. I do, but sometimes when I take off my makeup, like I'm able to spend a few hours without using moisturizer. So anyways, in the morning, I use this on a calm pad. I just cleanse it really, really lightly. Like I don't actually use any soap or anything, just this. And then I go in with my regular skincare routine. I also use this to remove my makeup in the afternoon. After I cleanse my face, I just go into my regular skincare routine. So I'm still using the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Um, this is for hydration purposes. So the issue, I kind of start, started using this because my skin was kind of getting dried out from using the Trinoin. But even though I stopped using it, I still seen like a very huge benefit with this for hydration. So my skin looks really, really plump and dewy when I get out of the shower and also throughout the day. After that, I go in with this moisturizer. I still use this. It is the Vanna Cream. Oh, Lord. There we go. It's the Vanna Cream Moisturizing Cream for Sensitive Skin. Um, I love this brand. And you'll see that I actually have another product from this brand because it is free of everything. Free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, linoleum, parabens, formaldehyde, pretty much everything. It's impossible to be allergic to this, and I'm allergic to quite a lot of things. So this moisturizer is also very, very thick, which also helps with like the hydration, especially in the winter time. And the last thing that I use in the morning is the Coco Kine Daily SPF. Um, this SPF is probably one of the best ones that I've tried so far. Um, it doesn't have a white cast if you mix it with a moisturizer. I don't know about if you don't mix it with a moisturizer, but I know that when I do mix both of them together, 
it is super sheer you can't even tell that i'm wearing sunscreen so what i love about this is that it has the protection against the uva uvb and also the blue light and it's a zinc based sunscreen so I have a lot of issues with chemical sunscreens. They break my skin out and they also cause dermatitis. So this one is mineral based, so zinc oxide 21%. That is it for my morning routine. I just keep it very, very simple now that my skin has calmed down. So now I'm going to get into my nighttime routine, which is also pretty simple, but I'm still gonna get into it. So at nighttime, my main goal is to get all of the dirt off of my face from throughout the day, from wearing a mask, from walking around outside in this polluted area of New Jersey. So I do use this scrubber at night. Um, I used to have a code for Essentially Hados, which is where I bought this from, but I don't have a code anymore. I still recommend that you buy it from there. Um, this product, I love it. And then I like use this Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. There we go. I use a Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. I do like one pump of this and then I just rub it on my face. And then this one also has like a back side. So it has like a gentle front and then the back side that if you want to do like rougher exfoliation, you can do that with the back. Um, so I really like that. And it also has five settings. So I don't know if you can hear it. So then again, every single day, I'll go in with the hyaluronic acid again, do the three drops, rub it into my face, and then three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will use the azelaic acid from The Ordinary. I apply this in the same way that I apply the tritinoin. A little goes a very long way, so I just like apply a pea size on the back of my hand, rub it on my face like that, and that's pretty much it. So before when I was using tritinoin, I used to have to avoid this entire area of my face just so that it wouldn't get irritated but with this it's safe to put it everywhere so i really really love that and then over that um i will use just the moisturizing cream one more time so it's a really really simple routine and i'm happy that i was able to make it um more basic because sometimes less is more so i have two more products that i want to mention um the next one is the acne foaming cream cleanser from CeraVe, this is what I talked about in the last video. This product, I still love it. If my skin ever breaks out, which it doesn't happen very often, but if it does, I'm able to use this benzoyl peroxide to spot treat. So what I'll do is I'll do like a, like a benzoyl peroxide face mask. So I'll put this on my face, I'll leave it on for about five minutes, let it marinate, and then I'll rinse it off. So this is still a good product. I actually still recommend it and I still love it a lot. I think the very, very last thing that I've incorporated into my routine is slugging. Um, if you haven't heard about slugging, it's pretty much just like, how do I say it? It's like bathing your face in ointment. <laughs> Um, and you kind of just look like a glazed donut, a beautiful glazed donut after you finish it. So there's a lot of benefits to slugging. So I'm just going to read straight from a website here. It says slugging acts as an occlusive, meaning that the thin layer of ointment forms a sort of protective barrier on the skin. Slugging works by repairing the skin by keeping the skin barrier intact and minimizing the transepidermal water loss by trapping the moisture. So pretty much like maybe one day a week or two days a week, I'll do my routine minus the azelaic acid, my nighttime routine, and I'll put this, this is just the Aquaphor, Aquaphor Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy. You can use any ointment. I know that the CeraVe one is also really good because it has um, ceramides in it, but all of them pretty much do the same thing. So I'll like really lather this on my face and by the next morning, my skin is just really, really soft, really soft, hydrated, bouncy, which I really like. And also, like, if you open any um, pimples, um, it also, like, kind of heals them overnight. So sometimes I've had, like, pimples that they bleed. So if I, like, slug after that pimple opens, it'll really even out the, the skin there and kind of heal it, too. So I also recommend this. I mean, it's optional. You don't have to do it for a little bit. I didn't start doing this until, like, maybe, like, a month ago. Um, so if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. It doesn't really, like... It's not like a drastic difference that it makes, but um, definitely if you're looking for a way to like do extra hydration or whatever, I would definitely recommend using um, the slugging techniques. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I do have other sensitive skincare tips in the last video that I filmed about my sensitive skin. Um, I don't want to go through those again because I know that this video is already going to be pretty long. But definitely if you guys have any other questions, I'm not a dermatologist. I do recommend that you go to your dermatologist 
first but if you guys do have any questions about azelaic acid trianoin any of the products that i mentioned in this video i am happy to answer them in the comments um so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what's next and subscribe to my channel subscribe buttons down below along with all of my social media links my instagram my twitter my spotify and my tiktok and i will see you guys next week ya yo no retrocedo En cristal todo lo puedo Y nada me va a hacer cambiar Aunque digan que soy muy anormal Aquí no le vamos a bajar